Okay, this is step three, the mobile GDO hardware installation. Uh, if you've been following along in the other videos, you're probably familiar, you've seen this before. If you haven't, I'll go through it one more time. What we're doing now is we're wiring up the sensors to the mobile GDO controller. You can kind of see how the wires run along there, and they end up at the mobile GDO controller. What I like to do, well, first of all, the color codes are on a diagram available at techdevices.com, T-E-K devices.com. Uh, it's a solid core wire that's used. It's nice about that is you can form it. You can use the zip ties and you really you have to make sure it's imperative that these things, these wires, don't come near any moving parts because you don't want to get them wrapped up. So you can kind of form the wire a little bit. I'll move up so you can see how that wire is formed and it is clearly away from any moving parts. Strip the wire, got a couple little set screws, zoom in on that, and you can see where the wire goes in, tighten it up with the screwdriver provided, and then you run the wires with the zip ties, nice and All right, here's an overhead shot. You can see the chain, you can see where the sensors are located, see the wire coming along with the wire anchors, which keeps them safe from any moving parts. They come along, Wire anchors are included in the kit, and then they get wired into the mobile GDO. There are close-up pictures uh, on the website of how that works. But that's the two sensor wires connected, the orange and the yellow. Then, oh, one thing to keep in mind is that the kit comes with five feet of each color. So you'll basically take the wire, cut it in half, and then use the two wires for each sensor and also for what turns them on and off or opens and closes the activation wires which are these blue ones. So once you've got the sensors hooked up oh, and the wires just push into there. I might have a little demo video of that later but basically you strip off about a quarter of an inch and then you just push them in and then they lock in and then to release them you take a little screwdriver and you stick it in the other little slot above it and that's the screwdriver that we provided in the kit you just stick it in there and uh, you pop the wires out. I'll probably even do just a separate demo video of how that works. So check out techdevices.com and you'll see how that works. Once you've got the sensors hooked up, then you can hook up the actual activation wires that open and close your garage door. So the mobile GDO acts like a switch that you communicate with your iPhone, open and close your garage door. In this particular case, you can see the two main wires. This is the wire that was installed by my, the builder. This runs all the way up over to the door switch over by the door. Just your main switch that you push the button and your garage door open and closes. These two wires connect in parallel. So the blue wires here, the two individual blue wires that go over to the mobile GDO, they just get connected in parallel with that switch. So essentially what the mobile GDO does is it is mimicking you pushing the button on your wall but instead it's doing it over the internet. So the key thing to remember there is that you just install those in parallel and over into the appropriate location on the mobile GDO. All right, here's an overhead shot. You can see the chain, you can see where the sensors are located. You see the wire coming along with the wire anchors, which keeps them safe from any moving parts. They come along, wire anchors are included in the kit, and then they get wired into the mobile GDO. There are close-up pictures uh, on the website of how that works. But that's the two sensor wires connected, the orange and the yellow. Then, oh, one thing to keep in mind is that the kit comes with five feet of each color. So you'll basically take the wire, cut it in half, and then use the two wires for each sensor and also for what turns them on and off or opens and closes the activation wires, which are these blue ones. 
So once you've got the sensors hooked up, oh, and the wires just push into there. I might have a little demo video of that later, but basically you strip off about a quarter of an inch, and then you just push them in, and then they lock in. And then to release them, you take a little screwdriver, and you stick it in the other little slot above it. And that's the screwdriver that we provided in the kit. You just stick it in there, and uh, you pop the wires out. I'll probably even do just a separate demo video of how that works. So check out techdevices.com, and you'll see how that works. Once you've got the sensors hooked up, then you can hook up the actual activation wires that open and close your garage door. So the mobile GDO acts like a switch that you communicate with your iPhone, open and close your garage door. In this particular case, you can see the two main wires. This is the wire that was installed by my, the builder. This runs all the way up over to the door switch, over by the door. Just your main switch that you push the button and your garage door open and closes. These two wires connect in parallel. So the blue wires here, the two individual blue wires that go over to the mobile GDO, they just get connected in parallel with that switch. So essentially what the mobile GDO does is it is mimicking you pushing the button on your wall, but instead it's doing it over the internet. So the key thing to remember there is that you just install those in parallel and over into the appropriate location on the mobile GDO.